Samsung is planning to build a $17 billion chip making plant in central Texas. That's according to the Wall Street Journal. Texas Governor Greg Abbott expected to make an economic announcement at 5 p.m. local time. That could include the news that the South Korean electronics giant has selected the town of Taylor to build its factory. This new facility would create about 1,800 jobs, and Taylor wooed Samsung with incentives equal to property tax breaks of up to 92 percent for the first 10 years. This investment comes as the Biden administration pushes to build out semiconductor production in the United States. Tesla has hired former attorney for the SEC and DOJ David Meisler as new managing counsel, according to Meisler's LinkedIn profile. This new addition comes after Tesla's multiple run-ins with the Securities and Exchange Commission over market-moving tweets. That first notable tweet back in 2018 when Musk tweeted he is considering taking Tesla private, of course, at 420, funding secured. In the end, Musk said it was a joke, but it ended up costing him and Tesla $20 million each in SEC fines. Comcast, NBC Universal reportedly considering moving some content from Hulu to its exclusive Peacock platform, according to the W to the Wall Street Journal. NBC Universal owns one third of Hulu, with Walt Disney owning the other two thirds. The company has a one-time window to get out of the content licensing agreement with Disney, and if it doesn't exercise the option, the content would stay on Hulu until at least 2024. If NBC decides to pull its content from Hulu, it would disappear from that network by the fall of 2022. And Macy's is getting on the NFT bandwagon. The company said it's auctioning off 10 digital images of its Thanksgiving Day parade balloons to celebrate the parade's 95th anniversary. The retailer also said it will be giving away 9,500 NFTs for people who log onto its website on Thanksgiving morning. As of yesterday, those Macy's NFTs each had bids of $2,500 or more. The auctions are set to end on November 30th. All proceeds will go to the Make-A-Wish Foundation of America. I still prefer, I think, to go and see the balloons blown up on the west side. 